Hello, and welcome to another segment of the Hayek 811 Plus How-To Video Series. Today we're going to learn how to prepare and run a reference standard within the 811 Plus. First thing we want to do is set up the instrument. So we're going to go to the sensor setup, and we're going to select the proper calibration for the type of fluid we're going to run. We're going to run ISO medium test dust reference fluid. So we're going to select a medium test dust cal, in this case number one. Uh, make sure that the, all the parameters are set up properly. Once we've selected that, we're going to go back to the home screen. <clears throat> After we select the proper calibration, then we're going to go make sure that we have the proper recipe. So if we go to set up recipe, I'm going to select number one. So when you set up the recipe, you're going to want to make sure that you set up a 5 mil tear and 3 each 10 mil runs with averages. And you're going to want to set up the reporting to run counts per ml. So you get the cumulative data. So when you look at the count cert from the fluid, you can compare your results to that to make sure that your instrument is counting properly. Once that is set up, we go back to the home screen, go to sample, basically hit start recipe, and now we're ready to do our sample prep. So now that the instrument is set up properly, and we've selected the correct calibration type, now we're going to select the correct reference fluid type, which is ISO medium test dust. The part numbers are listed on the screen for your convenience. And now it's time to prepare the sample properly. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take the fluid and put it into ultrasonic bath to disperse the particles that are in the fluid to make sure they're not agglomerating with each other. Then we're going to pull it out of there and we're going to agitate it aggressively for one to two minutes. If it's light fluid, one to two minutes is sufficient. If it's real heavy fluid, it may take longer or you may need to use a mechanical shaker. After it's agitated, you're going to put it back in the ultrasonic bath. You're going to degas it for about 20 to 30 seconds. In the case of hydraulic fluid, it's pretty light. When the bubbles come out of the suspension, which is the whole purpose for that, getting the bubbles out of suspension, otherwise we'll count them as soft particles. Once that's done, remove the lid, put it into your instrument, clock it down, you push start your recipe, and you're good to go. When you're done, you can take the results from the printout or from the screen, and you can compare them to your count cert to make sure that you're within about 10% across all channels is a good indicator that the instrument is still calibrated fine and that you're, you're good to take your measurements. This concludes another segment of the HIAC 811 How-To Video Series. I'm Bill Barge reporting. Good day.